hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's lolo beauty and before we get started i just want to say everything in this video is alleged ddg is on a rant he's been on the rant the last couple of days and woo y'all let me just tell y'all it's really really getting a little messy uh well it's been messy but it's just getting a, a little bit on the like out of control um we all know holly is out of the country right now but the point about it is that you was in this relationship with this beautiful, beautiful, successful, successful young black woman that even put you in rooms that you could not enter alone. And um, the even if the story that came out about DDG and his ex, Ruby Rose, was true or false, you are still supposed to to handle yourself in a better manner, if that makes sense. Just because your girlfriend is on such a level that you should not want her to be embarrassed. You shouldn't want, even though it's, it, it, even though it doesn't make me look at Holly in a different light at all. I'm just saying you should want to, you should want to act your best if you're with a woman of that magnitude. This young woman is very very successful very very smart and for you to come out on the internet and show your butt the way you have been showing your butt on twitter it's just wrong it's just wrong he um he tweeted that um people need to stop uh slamming him for his great boyfriend um qualities that basically he has great boyfriend qualities and people are just mad uh, he said he put his family on and he's, and it's not easy to get on Forrest's list. So stop downplaying it because he will smack somebody for playing with him. Um, why are you so aggressive and why are you even responding to people that are neg that, that are, that you feel like can get you out your character? You don't have to go on Twitter and explain nothing. You're on the Forrest's list. You, th that should not bother you. What people are saying, even what anybody is saying it should not bother you because people are going to say what they want to say they allowed to say what they want to say it is how you respond that makes you look the way you look it's your response it's your response i feel like it's his response i feel like he's literally on the internet just going wild and basically saying you know um obviously him and holly is not talking right now because he uh did a post saying you know, if you see this, I just want to let you know you look beautiful. But in that same post, it was it was just messy. So basically, now you're letting people know that y'all are really not on speaking terms, obviously. I hope you are. But just to put that on the Internet, it's like, why? Like, why? Like, why? It, like, can you not text her and tell her she look beautiful? Or you just want to put that on the Internet when she don't really need that extra spotlight on her when her movie is about to come out? She didn't need that. So I just feel like it's just... It, he is not even considering the things and the opportunities that Holly has um going on right now. And that is the um reason why I say, you know, when you have a girlfriend that is so successful like that or a spouse and even him, you're he's successful in a different light. But the way he is successful, it allows him to say and do whatever he wants. But that don't mean he has to go past a certain line that is disrespectful to Holly. It's what I'm saying. And I just feel like, um, to me, it's showing how guilty you are because you don't, you don't know how to let the situation die down. You can't make the internet love you. You cannot make people feel like you're telling the truth. You say your piece and then you go out, you know, you leave. You can't, when you keep trying and trying, it just makes it worse on himself. So it's, it's really crazy to see him in these crazy tweets and to say that, you know, um, and he even went so far as to saying, you know, he's like voodoo. Like, uh, when he entered, like he, somebody will never find a vibe like him, like another guy like him, like what he brings to the relationship. He, you probably won't find from nobody else. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Why, right. So it's just like DDG, we're going to need for you to take a break off Twitter and heal.
And if you're doing this for Holly to prove your innocence, maybe try in a different way because this way it's just not working. And it's just really sad to see him unravel like this because I do, I really do understand that when your heart is broken or when your relationship ends and you really did love your spouse, that it is hard. It takes a toll on you and you sometimes act out and you sometimes don't know the right things to say. But I always say, don't say anything at all. Just kind of let, because on the internet, just kind of let it die down. And then, you know, try to have a conversation with with your ex-spouse outside of social media because once you put social media in your business in that way and you start tweeting things people are going to pick and pull you apart because it doesn't it doesn't sound good the things he's saying it's not like positive it doesn't sound good he's very upset every tweet is a very angry tweet it's a very threatening tweet and it's a very um yeah, you will never find somebody else like me, tweet, you know, or calling your ex-girlfriend out her name. You should not do that. You, you don't do that because if you had a situation with this young woman, it's not fair to call her out her name. It's not fair. Be a gentleman and just say this woman is not telling the truth and that's the end. You do not the way he responded was just just not okay. It's just not good. So now we see when things don't go your way, or even if somebody is lying on you, or even if you and Holly are going through things, we see the way that you are going to respond. So now as a woman, Holly is probably thinking, I love this man, but I didn't know that this was a part of him. Like I didn't know he would act this way and that he would really take it to a level like this. Because you never know somebody until you see them real mad or you start going through situations. Then they start showing you things you didn't think they you know, they had, like, you didn't, like, the way he's acting, I'm pretty sure, uh, Holly is not, like, it's somewhere, like, why, like, just please, just stop, just stop, you know, it's probably very surprising to her of all, how all of this is playing, she's really just, and she said one, one thing, one or two things, and that's it, and it's just really was, like, not anything deep, so I just feel like, Holly, you got too much going on right now, concentrate, and you young, you're very young and listen, just, just go on with your career and your life. And if it's meant to be, it will attach itself back together. And if not, I'm pretty sure, I mean, both of y'all are successful in y'all own rights and that is okay. Cause when you're young, some relationships don't work out. It's trial and error sometimes. And that's just all I'm going to say, but y'all let me know down in the comment sections, how y'all feel about everything DDG has been tweeting um and saying it's just been a little outrageous but y'all let me know